I want to bring you up to date now on a developing story out of Springfield. We've learned that the person hit by a school bus yesterday afternoon was a 16-year-old girl, and it was fatal. Thanks for joining us on this Thursday, everyone. I'm Chris Pisano. And I'm Jordan Jagalins. It happened at the intersection of State Street and Dwight Street, an area that has now seen three of seven deadly crashes in recent weeks. We have live team coverage tonight with Western Mass News reporters Paris Dunford and Leon Purvis. We begin with Paris, who spoke exclusively with Springfield Mayor Dominic Sarno, who shared an emotional account of this accident. Paris? Chris, Jordan, flowers have been placed down on the sidewalk where the 16-year-old was hit and killed. Now, earlier today, I did speak with Springfield Mayor Dominic Sarno. He tells me once he heard about the accident, he immediately got up from his office and ran to the scene. On Wednesday afternoon, around 2.45 p.m., police say a 16-year-old girl was crossing the intersection of State Street and Dwight Street when she was hit by a school bus. Springfield Mayor Dominic Sarno got a call about the accident while he was in his office. I had received word uh, through my chief of staff, Tom Ash, that an accident involving a, a student and school bus had occurred. Mayor Sarno says he immediately ran and went to the scene. He describes how he felt once he saw what had happened. You think immediately of your, uh, your own family. Cassandra Rodriguez witnessed what had happened and also thought of her own family. I got three kids on my own. I would have never... That was a horrible experience. I never lived something like that before. Mayor Sarno tells Western Mass News he spoke with the girl's parents this morning to offer his condolences. I can't bring somebody back to life. And uh, that's always very difficult, those, those, those conversations. Just tragic that somebody lost a life at such a, a young age. He says he tried bringing comfort to them as they deal with the loss of their daughter just a couple weeks before Christmas. But he believes an investigation will help everyone involved understand what exactly happened in that intersection. There's a lot of cameras in that area, so we have footage uh, on it about uh, what occurred. Now, we reached out to the bus company first student for a response to the accident. They said in part, quote, we are deeply saddened by this tragic accident. First student is partnering with local officials while this incident is under investigation. As normal process, our driver has been removed from service pending the outcome of the investigation. And the girl's identity has not yet been released, and this is still an ongoing investigation, so stick with Western Mass News for the latest updates. Reporting live in Springfield, Paris Dunford for Western Mass News.